when you're a kid, the universe revolves around you. Because when you're alone as a kid, the monsters see you as weaker. You don't even know that they're getting closer. Why, hello, creeps and pervs. That guy with the creepy face is back. Where have I been for the last four months? Well, I've been in hell. Yes, the devil himself finally came and grabbed me, drug me down to hell. But you know what I did? I fought my way out of hell so I could come back here and talk to all of you. I have slain the beast. I was letting Freddy the Flailer and Mr. Clucky run my channel while I was gone. I don't know what happened to them. They ran away somewhere. I heard a rumor that Mr. Clucky died in a tent, but it's not been confirmed. Freddy the Flailer, I don't know what happened. But he left his mask, I think. But the point of all of this is, is that I'm back now. I've been through hell, and I'm going to take my channel back. So we're going to do a movie review, just like we used to do back in the old days. Today, we'll be looking at 2017's It. In case you have been under a rock and don't know, It is based off of a Stephen King novel. There was also a made-for-TV movie back in the 90s with the great, the best, the legendary Tim Curry as Pennywise. Tim Curry's performance of Pennywise scared the living shit out of a bunch of kids. I mean, really, I was one of them. Scared. Shit actually came out. That's how scared I was. Here I am, Weezy. Hey, you're gonna like it down here. Won't do any good to run, girly boy. <laughs> so what did I think of the new It? Well, it's two hours and 15 minutes long. And it's pretty much just setting up for the second part. It has a nice, solid R rating. I do like that. But the only thing they use their R rating for is to throw in a bunch of F-bombs. F this, F that. They don't really use it for anything else. There's really not much gore. Like, with a solid R rating, you could have had it really, really gory. There is this one scene where blood comes out of the sink. That was pretty gory, but that's just blood out of a sink. I, mean, I wanted to see people getting ripped apart and blood squirting everywhere. I was like, <laughs> like Georgie. Oh, by the way, <laughs> spoilers throughout this whole video. If you haven't seen it and don't want anything ruined, don't watch this because I can't keep my mouth shut. I just say things, so I'm going to give away a lot of things. I might even give away the ending. So stop watching this and watch another one of my videos if you don't want to see or know how it goes, all right? Here we go, spoiler time. So Georgie gets his arm ripped off, right? This should have been a gory-ass scene with Georgie flying around and blood smoke everywhere. They did not do that. There's like no blood whatsoever. Why? Why couldn't there be blood? I, Georgie, am Pennywise, the dancing clown. You are Georgie. So now we know each other. I gotta go. Go? Without this. And there's cotton candy and fries and all sorts of surprises down here. And blue, too. All colors. But to do the gore factor, it's not very gory. What about the kids? Because this, this is all about kids, the Losers Club. What was 
supposed to be? Nowhere. Okay, well, I'm starting to get itchy. I'm pretty sure this is not Do you use the same thing. bathroom as your mother? Sometimes, yeah. Then you probably have crabs. That's so not funny. Aren't you guys coming in? Uh uh. It's gray water. What the hell's gray water? It's basically piss and shit. So I'm just telling you. You guys are splashed around in millions of gallons of dairy pee. Pennywise, the dancing clown. <laughs> and Henry Bowers, the bully that's just way over the top. I mean, Henry is like so mean and evil. Which is a step up from the Henry Bowers that we got in the Made for TV movie. The Made for TV movie, Henry Bowers was just kind of a bully. Not in this one. Henry's killing people in this movie. He just don't give up. You know, he don't care. So we have Henry Bowers, who's a complete psycho, and when he's yelling, I'll kill you all! I'll kill you all! He will. He will kill them all. He means it. He ain't joking. He ain't being threatening. He means that. He really does want to kill them all. And then there's Pennywise. They have a lot of good scare scenes with Pennywise. And they stayed away from a lot of jump scares. There were jump scares in the movie. They were not ridiculous jump scares, though. And a lot of times, a lot of times, I was expecting a jump scare and they didn't do it. So they are doing a suspenseful film. And there are moments, there are moments that are really suspenseful. If you will come with me, we'll float too. I saw something. A clown. Yeah, I saw him too. His Pennywise should have been able to kill these kids a couple times. They're all alone. They don't have any of their friends with them. But Pennywise doesn't kill them. Why not? Why, why couldn't he kill them? They don't explain that. I know that when they're all in a group, Pennywise can't kill them. And I know Pennywise can't kill them if they're not afraid. Because if they don't fear him, he can't feed off their fear. But there are times when those kids are, are scared. You can tell they're scared, and Pennywise still doesn't kill them. They'll have a convenient, someone will walk in the room or a door will open. Very convenient. I thought Pennywise should have killed some of them. And we knew that Pennywise couldn't kill any of them. Everyone knows there's going to be a part two or a chapter two and it's going to have all the adults. Hi.